Hi everyone, this is Emmy today. I'm going to show you how to crochet this really easy vest. And you can make it long or short or any length in between. And it's very easy. You're going to work sideways. So let's get started. To make this vest, you're going to work sideways. So you're going to begin with a foundation chain that's as long as you would like your vest to be. And this yarn has a variation of colors, so it just red, so it just goes from one color to another in the various tones. And it really feels quite a bit like cotton. I'm working with Karen Tea Cakes in Winterberry. And this yarn has a variation of colors. So it just goes from one color to another in the various tones. And it really feels quite a bit like cotton. I'm working with one strand of yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. You could use larger yarn and a larger hook and then it'll work up much quicker. So you're going to start with a foundation chain in multiples of three plus one. When your foundation chain is the correct length for the length that you would like your vest to be, you're going to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, Pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. And that is going to be your first V-stitch. Skip the next two stitches, make a V-stitch in the next stitch. To make a V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And you're going to work all the way across your long foundation chain. Skip two stitches, make a V-stitch in the next, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So you're going to work that all the way across your long chain, work sideways. And when you reach the end of your row, you'll make a V-stitch in the last stitch, double, chain one, and double. And that will be your first row. So for the next row, you're going to turn your work, slip stitch in the first chain one space, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same chain one space. And that's the first V-stitch of the row, and the V-stitch is positioned directly in the V-stitch of the previous row. Now all the way across the row, you'll make a V-stitch in every chain one space. So go to the next chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Go to the next chain one space, make a V-stitch, double chain one and double all the way across the row find the next chain one space make a v-stitch at the end of the row that was your first v-stitch which was your foundation chain that the number of stitches were skipped you're going to make a v-stitch in that space like that, like that. And now every row is going to be exactly the same. You'll turn your work, slip stitch into the chain one space, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same stitch. So you're making a V-stitch directly in the V-stitch of the previous row. And you'll work across the row and you'll keep repeating this row 
until you get to the armhole row. So keep repeating that row over and over for the number of rows you need for the size you're making until you get to this large opening, which is the armhole row. So for the armhole row at the top, which is at the shoulder, you're going to work a V-stitch for this small size in the first four V-stitches. And then you're going to chain a long chain, and you're going to skip the appropriate number of V-stitches so that you form an opening. And you can see my chain row here. So you'll skip all these stitches and then you'll start working your V-stitch again all the way down the row. For the next row, you're going to turn and you're going to work all the way back up to where your chain was and then you'll skip the first three stitches of the chain and start working your v-stitches all the way across the chain you're going to skip the last three stitches and then v-stitches in the last four v-stitches for this small size after that you'll just keep repeating row after row until you get to the other side and then you'll do the same thing. You'll work a foundation chain, skip the number of V-stitches, and form the other opposite armhole. And then go ahead and work row after row until you finish the opposite side of the vest. Then you fasten off and weave the yarn ends into the finished work. And that's how easy it is to crochet this vest in any length, from short to long. If you enjoyed this video, you may like the following videos, which are also crocheted vests.